So, well, yeah, I was born in Mexico City, and since I was little, I was really, like, into arts. Uh, I started drawing really early and reading, and I was, like, all the time involved, like, in artistic projects. Like, during my life, I was, like, in puppets, plays, and, and plays of theater, and I was, like, involved in all kind of arts all the time. I, I liked writing books and stuff. So, well, in Mexico, I was having a pretty normal life and happy life. I had, like, all my friends there and my family, and I was really happy there. I mean, I can't complain at all. But I knew that I had no future, future there. So at some point, I realized that I had to leave. I left Mexico because I was lucky. I knew about the Art Institute, like, way back before coming here. I saw it in high school in grade 10. Uh, there was some lady coming to school and talking about this, the Art Institute and stuff, so I really liked it. I was like, I want to go there. And I told that to my parents and they were like, yeah, yeah, you're gonna go there, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they didn't believe me, they were like, well, it's so hard for him. He, he has to leave the country because there is no Art Institute in Mexico. My dad found a job here in Vancouver, so it was all luck because we moved here and that way I was able to come to this school. Uh, it was hard because we had to do a lot of sacrifices because we had to live all our life there. I lived, I lived there for 18 years and I had like all my friends and my family and everything, so it was hard to leave them and start over, but I didn't care because I wanted to do this and I wanted to be in this school and be a filmmaker, so it was part of it and I'm happy about it. When I just got here, it was really hard for me to fit in because I didn't know how the, how Canada worked. So it was I was trying like Canada to fit in and I w was having problems with English. I'm still having problems with English. Uh, so yeah, it took me a while to kind of like realize how things work in Canada, especially in Vancouver. I had to go to high school again. I had to work like in construction because we had no money at all. And yeah, it was like, it was hard, but I did it. Well, uh, now that I've been in the Art Institute, I've been able to kind of like do what I like to do. I've been involved like in a lot of directing and writing and acting. So I'm really happy with what I've done so far and I'm really excited of what, I, what am I going to be able to do in the future. So I think this is a good school overall and I think that it's really pushing me to the next level and to be able to do a life of this, of being a filmmaker.